All right, everyone, today we're going to be looking at the board game King Domino, and we got a special treat for you today as we're going to look at a game played by the designer of King Domino, Bruno Cathala. So you see here he's signing a game, and this game actually won the Game of the Year back, I believe, in 2016. It was his first win for Game of the Year. Uh, his buddy, Antoine Boza, won Game of the Year in 2013 for Hanabi, um, but he had been a designer long before Antoine, but and had made many more games. But he had finally uh, hit gold when he made this very simple game. He has many complex games, but when he made this simple game, you see right here, King Domino, which is now able to be played on Board Game Arena. Uh, it's a really fun, simple game, um, so let's just get into it. Um, the way it works is you always have a set of four dominoes that... Uh, you are going to take two, and your opponent is going to take two in a two-player game. In uh, three and four players, it's different. But yeah, he's playing 1v1, and the top domino, you see here, the two forests, is going to be considered the weakest domino. So if you pick that one, then you're going to get first dibs next round of picking four dominoes. Um, and the bottom one is the strongest. They get stronger as they go down. So with that... Um, you want to have connecting colors multiplied by crowns. So you got the forest color, and then if there was a crown in the forest, you'd multiply however many crowns by those connecting things. So right now, if you picked this tile, the top one, it would be two forest multiplied by zero crowns. That'd be zero points. Taking the bottom one would be two different colors, one multiplied by zero crowns, one multiplied by two crowns, for a sum of two points. So total of the tile is currently zero points, one point, two point, or one point, one point, and then two points. But you can see as they place them out how the strategy would ensue. So let's get in and see what um, Bruno Cathala is going to pick first. And he chooses the second tile, um, the one crown in the fields. His opponent wants to go first picking the forest, and his opponent also gets the next choice picking the uh, the yellow wanting to block Bruno from trying to take the uh, points from yellow and then uh, the obvious final choice Bruno takes the uh, the best tile now we have a two forest a two water and then some mixed stuff below what is his opponent going to pick I'm thinking continue with the forest or maybe get that uh, crown to multiply off his forest Nope, he continues with the forest. Bruno doesn't want him to get the crown, takes that crown. And his opponent has a water, wants to take a two water. Has a water crown, wants to take a two water. And Bruno, with a swamp and a mine, the gray and the black, um, he's going to place that in his city and take the very last one making his opponent have the first two picks. So I'm guessing his opponent's first two picks, since he already, his opponent already has water, you see down there, um, he's going to go for the water crown. No, he goes for the forest crown, because he has forest. And he goes for the water crown, so this is not looking good for Bruno. And Bruno is going to... It, it ends up working out fine for him. He gets... Uh, set up to place a, uh, I guess a sheep field, the light green, which will have a crown, and he already has two of those. Bruno has first pick. I'm guessing he's going to take the mine. No, he does not, because he already has a mine, so that would be two mines multiplied by four crowns. The mines tend to have lots of crowns, um, but there's not very many of them. Um, now... His opponent is going to have the next two picks. I'm thinking he steals the mine from Bruno. Yeah, steals the, the two most powerful of the tiles. Um, and then Bruno takes the remaining. Now Bruno's got first two picks. I think he takes the bottom two with the two crowns. He ne he has some swamps already, and he has some, uh, some sheep fields. Okay, I was wrong. He actually takes the, the Swamp 1 crown, probably be because uh, he doesn't want to end up going last every single time. Um, his opponent takes the Sheep Field, and he's going to take the remainder highest value to tile. 
Then his opponent has first dibs. All of the next choices are crowns. Um, got crown on yellow and then crown on forest. I'm thinking, yeah, so he's, he's going to take one forest and one mine away. Um, nobody's, oh yeah, both players have, have a mine. Um, but then Bruno is going to take the most expensive of the two forest plains. I think the yellow is called plains. Leaving the remainder for his opponent, and his opponent goes first. Um, that is the greatest mine in the game, the three crowns. He's going to probably take the three crowns. He is not. He's going to allow Bruno to take it. Well, right now, every single sheep field is worth potentially three points. So that made sense for Bruno to take that one. Also, he's going to be able to go first next. Um, and it actually leaves Bruno with a very good tile, the three mines. Now, Bruno um, is going to go first, and he's going to probably pick one of the two crowns there. No, he's going to pick the yellow, so he's going to link these yellows up, I'd imagine. Yep, that's a good place to put that. His opponent... I'm thinking he'd get more crowns in water, put the water there, or maybe the double water. I can't... I, I imagine it's one of the waters he's going to take. Okay, yeah, he took one of the waters and allowed... Bruno to take the other. Bruno's not really working on water, so that's not really going to be great for him to take. I wonder where he's going to actually put it. Um, Bruno is going to place that yellow, like we discussed, probably right there, linking, linking these two yellow up, and maybe going to take another two yellow to block off his opponent from doing the same. Yes, he did that. All right, and then his opponent is going to take the forest and then probably another mine because you can't let somebody get all the mines. That would just be too much. Yeah, yeah, I figure that's just common sense. You wouldn't want your opponent to score that many points. Now Bruno is going to pick. My guess would be he has a choice of a two-crown mine, a two-crown swamp, a two-crown uh, sheep field. Sheep field sounds really good. But he wants those mines, because that's going to be a lot of points. He's already got five point crowns in mines. That'd be seven, with multiplied by four. Uh, that's going to be a lot of points if he can pull it off. Um, and then his opponent links up some forests. That's going to be a lot of points for forests. Now he's got two different forest sections that have linked up. And his opponent takes a mine. Sets himself up for a swamp later. Let's see where he places that. Ah, places it over there. Interesting that he didn't put that over there, but next to the the swamp. But that's all right. Bruno is going to. He's got a choice of a crown on forest, crown on water, crown on water. I'm thinking he takes the better of the crown on waters now that he has um, some water area that he can work with. No, he just takes the normal water. Okay. And his opponent is going to take let's see the uh, less valuable of the crown on plane so he can go first. Now Bruno's turn, he's going to probably take, let's see, he's he's got nothing great happening with any of the forest tiles, so I'm thinking the answer is take the swamp. Oh no, I'm wrong, he takes the forest for some reason. I think it's to deny his opponent, uh, because that's quite a lot of points his opponent has with forests. And is his opponent going to deny him of swamps? His opponent could actually use the swamp somewhat. He does. And his opponent now has quite a lot of points in water. And 
it's Bruno's turn, and he needs to discard a domino, but it's saying he cannot discard it. Um, or he cannot play it, so he must discard it. Okay, Because there was no forest, you have to connect it to something something else that's the same color, unless you're connecting to that middle kingdom square. Um, then, so it looks like he's going to have two holes in his city, but that's no issue. Um, Bruno is placing his next one just right there to capitalize on the water and the yellow. And then his opponent places out. It's looking like a pretty close match. His opponent's going to have a ton of points in forests, um, and Bruno's going to have a lot of points in mines. Alright, so we can see the point breakdown. 18 points forest, 26 yellow, 20 sheep, 12 water, 4 swamp, and 28 for mines for a total of 108 points for Bruno. 33 forest though for his opponent, 16 fields, 3 sheep, 36 water, 6 swamp, and 6 mines for a total of 100. Bruno barely wins by a hair and moves from having an ELO of just around... 292 to getting right up there with um let's see what ended up happening with at the end there he had 108 versus opponents 100 That ended up making him be able to have um, his opponent actually loses and he gets eight points. Okay, so he he went up with that 108 game versus 100. He got eight points, and that's he made it to exactly 300. So all in all, pretty good game, and now you know how um, a player of uh, King Domino would play if they designed it. So thank you very much, and please like and subscribe.